today's world, trade is a collage of global markets, supply chains, competing brands, quality standards, movement of goods across borders, business regulations, cutting-edge skills and services. Aid in support of trade is coming in to make a difference. But what is behind the headlines? What impact does it actually have on people's daily lives? How can partners and programs support poor countries to get ahead on trade? When does it work? And where can more be done right now? The Enhanced Integrated Framework, EIF, is getting people to act on the trade agenda. On the ground, agencies and development partners are backing countries' own roadmaps for change. It's building strong foundations and helping governments bridge to more support. Trading Stories takes a closer look at eight of the poorest countries worldwide who are using trade to shape futures. Find out from the people themselves what is happening with fresh partnerships and higher value products and what potential lies ahead. What is Sierra Leone's trading story? Making trade a catalyst in promoting prosperity, shaking off past instability and plugging growth gaps means investing in people, places and products for the future. When ecotourism takes centre stage in the service sector, it's the people themselves who are in the driving seat. Promoting livelihoods rooted in local places, experiences and environments helps both communities and visitors to benefit. Well, the community people are fully involved because they are deriving many benefits from the tourism, from the project itself, from the researchers and the income generating so that we can put our ideas together to improve TY. I see great future in tourism because Sierra Leone has considerable potential. We have seen increase in the number of hotel beds to 2,600. It is very critical that we identify areas that can bring in better livelihood, better income and understanding among the communities. We want to diversify into ecotourism so that we can add value to those touristic sites that the country has up country. This is four napkins. Four? Yes, okay. And in the process, we can create jobs for the youths, which will bring a lot of benefit to the provinces and our local communities. Earlier efforts breathed fresh life into the service industry. Now, to make activities work nationwide, it means tackling infrastructure access and mapping partners' perspectives for change. Next, with plans to expand tourism skills, training for young people, you kickstart trade's potential to grow right now. We are very active in terms of education, sensitization, uh, community development. Uh, tourism gives us the opportunity to earn our own funding. I see that partnership and I think how much this country can benefit through this ecotourism venture.
but just what does it take to forge ahead on trade and make the growth agenda work for people? The Enhanced Integrated Framework EIF program has helped turn this vision into reality. Training government teams, boosting reforms, building coordination and partnerships, it is now supporting a trade study to turn efforts into more results on the ground. We've tried over the years to improve an overall atmosphere for doing business. Our role has been to be able to mobilize the various ministries, departments and agencies. We therefore hope that as part of our agenda to move from aid to trade, we are able to strengthen the domestic private sector. The support of the EIF has helped uh, the development partners in uh, aligning their efforts towards supporting uh, national priorities in the country, in the definition of those priorities. The donor facilitator play an important uh, role at the technical level, working with our colleagues at the Ministry of Trade and the Industry. The EIF program is uh, supporting national priorities through something called an update to the Diagnostic Trade Integration Study, focused on what the government wants in terms of sectoral coverage and areas. And it's going to be very much led by the government in that respect. You can make giant strides on trade when you build public-private partnerships along the value chain in goods and services. To make this work for all, you need to bring on board the petty traders. Next, ecotourism, standards and SME development projects can light up the trade path ahead. The EIF has created the enabling environment for the country to take stock of trade. You know, the National Steering Committee is there to guide um, um, stakeholders in uh, focusing their attention to sectorial development total involvement of all stakeholders in the National Steering Committee is very crucial. Helping companies reach a higher export potential on trade means getting them ready to meet international standards. Upcoming EIF and partner support, including improving laboratories, is opening up prospects for businesses to meet orders in new markets. I think government has now got cognizance of the need of the private sector like us. We are working in tandem with the development of the standards over here, for example, the Standard Bureau and the Pharmacy Board. So this is where they have to grow with us before we can actually grow too. The Ministry of Finance and Economic Development is playing a critical role in the coordination of uh, trade and development across the line ministries. It includes the integrated framework, which uh, focuses on trying to bring all sectors involved, trade matters, so that they could be able to uh, help in the improving the productivity of the economy. It's through the right norms and quality production that you build greater credibility and trust in your products. While helping companies expand, it also creates opportunities for farmers to sell more of their produce, making it work through planning and resources means joint focus and efforts. Standard promotes trade. So we look at what and what the industry want, their needs to improve their competitiveness. The support of the IF will give us to us to reach that potential there so that we can facilitate and develop our national economy. 
Sierra Leone is at a crossroads for change with trade in goods and services signposting the way forward. Rebranding the country's image at the same time having a clear roadmap with partners backing is vital. That way, through prioritization, empowerment and drive, you can attract investment needed to usher in the bold prospects on trade for the country as a whole. We have um, tried to use uh, budgetary resources uh, reasonably well to enhance the, and facilitate the various sectors dealing with trade. We are going to increase our allocation of domestic resources to this. We are now looking at bringing all parties involved in trying to ensure that the activities impact positively on trade um, in the country.